Who has time to trust him? What's up, everybody? Happy first Sunday in April. But y'all going to do this on first Sunday? I am your host, St. James, bringing you the gospel according to St. James. And whatever I feel is important to me and to maybe even to you, my saints. What's up, everybody? As we come in, make sure that you are hitting like, all right? Make sure you are liking right now and you do share this uh, broadcast, this Sunday night broadcast. And comment respectfully, join us, become a member. Um, subscribe, 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 and never forget to donate. There's a special donation for tonight, all right, everybody? A special donation for tonight, all right? Who do we have tonight in the sanctuary? Cupcakes was, uh, was she the first one in here? All right. <laughs> Cupcakes was the first one in here. Of course, Captain the Powell. Let me tell you, that Captain Powell messy, y'all. <laughs> and I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. What's up, Ann Brock? Ann Brock out of New York. New York. Kevin Moore is in the house. Kay Rich has found her way in up in here. JP, beautiful JP. Got something cooking up with beautiful JP, Charty Shar, Stacy M. Smith, just cooling, 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 cooling. Miss Candace, welcome. Happy Sunday night. Marcus Terry is in the house. <coughs> the word, the word according to money is hot. Greater Bethany, that's who that was. Not that city of refuge stuff. It was. Greater Bethany Community Church. That's what it was. Yes, yes, yes. Now it's the city of refuge and they are in a refuge because they can't seem to settle down in their own building. They are still over there at uh, Nissan Stewart's Church at Greater Emmanuel in Downey, California. I don't know what's going on over there. What's up, Jesse? <coughs> Jesse, 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 Jesse. I sent you a message on Messenger on Facebook. I don't think you have responded. Lady E is in the house. Pastor Wilson is up in the house. Yes, sir. What's up, Keisha Green? I didn't see you last night. Were you at JC's thing last night? Now, I've seen some of your folks over there wearing that out. I'll talk about it in a minute. All right. Ain't no refuge over there. There's no refuge. Anyway, thanks again for each and every one of you that are coming through tonight. We want to always remember, why did I go all the way to the bottom? Happy birthday and happy anniversary to all of our April folks. If you're having a wonderful birthday this month or anniversary, always, 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 I don't care how many times I get on here, put it on there, put it in the chat like it's brand new, like nobody ever never uh, uh you never did it before all right and we are still in the no skip zone of course during the broadcast uh feel free to skip but after the broadcast during replay if you would be so kind and be so loving to let the ads play they do support here over at the saint james show man and the cardinal church sector because we are live over there at the Cardinal Church sector as well. My, 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 my. Let's see here. You see, I get the good tea. I wanted to make it, but I couldn't. It definitely was church. Uh, Shawty Shot, they had some church this morning at the city. Okay. That's going to be a vast building renovation at the new church. Yeah. Got some zoning issues going on over there. 
Ah, but you know, it is what it is. I think they were a little zealous in getting that building. Don't think the building was ready for a church. Um, and this, I think somebody lied to them over there at the city. Don't, don't worry about it. Buy it. I got the hook up. We can you do what you want to do. Loretta can put her restaurant over there. and Y'all can have a this over there. And you have the sanctuary over here. Somebody lied. All right. So we're still anticipating and seeing what's going on with the city of refuge over there at the Noel Jones Ministries. Um, Captain, Captain Jacqueline. Jacqueline and Ben the boss. Thank you for coming through tonight. <clears throat> it's a lot going on, Sean. We got to talk about it tonight. We got to talk. <clears throat> it don't make no sense what's going on around here. These church folk. These church folk. I keep hitting this. You got to move. Bye. Well, you know, I just got back uh, in my city from the beautiful uh, city of Los Angeles. You know, I love to go to Los Angeles and See what's going on over there. Always something buzzing over there in Los Angeles. And I had a chance to, um, well, before we get all into that, we want to uh, do our biggest, speaking of Los Angeles, C uh, Reverend Cecil Murray, he was the pastor of First um, African Methodist Episcopal Church in, <laughs> oh, I see you. Oh, now you saw it, Jesse. Um, um, in uh, Los Angeles. And we, it went by fame. If anybody said, oh, I go to fame. You know, if you're in Los Angeles, what church you go to? Oh, I go to fame, fame. And it was that was Reverend Cecil Murray's church. Uh, Barry, he was not only a, a, a prominent pastor, but he was also a, a civil rights leader in his own right. <clears throat> Hold up, he held up the bloodstained banner for the African-American and the brown and the marginalized people. So we are keeping his family in prayer as he lived a very long life. So we can't uh, say, Lord, why? Why you take him so soon, Lord? Not now, Jesus. Uh, he was probably tired. He's probably tired, y'all. All right, so we thank God for the life of Reverend Cecil Murray. There was a choir director who used to be over there. I, I remember it was Chris something. He used to come to my city and do workshops. I can't remember what his last name was. Maybe somebody from around here will put it in there. But I, he used to come and do um and do some stuff so he was good so they always had some good music over there at fame yeah yeah fame so rest in god's eternal peace um reverend cecil murray and hopefully in the great trumpet sound when the dead in christ shall rise first and those who remain will be caught up to meet him in the air that's bible that's bible What's up, Patty Green? Thank you for subscribing from Lithia Springs, Georgia. Thank you. Love your intros and your information. You are welcome. Glad you are here. <clears throat> Keisha Green says, uh, that building used to have multiple medical offices and Everett Me Medical College. Oh, Med Everett Medical College was in that building, as well, well as Sylvan Learning Center. Oh, so it had a lot of stuff going on over there. So <clears throat> it would be a little interesting why they're having issues getting the proper permits to be over there. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's up, Angie? Angela Heard. Angela Heard. <laughs> yes. The closing we just had. We did, we did the closing. And we lower the boom. Yes. Yeah, we did the closing. Ah, what an eventful weekend I had. I didn't spend too many. I just did a day and a half or two days over there down south. And um, last night I attended Jason McGee. And um, let me see if I can. Uh, let me see something. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, here we go. That's what I want. I don't want to upload a whole bunch of stuff when we could just go to folks' pages and, and check stuff out. So I'm just going to pull up Jason's um, Instagram. So many. Actually, let me pull up the ones that I did. How about I do that first? I will do that. Yeah. But I, we had a wonderful time, man. It was, um, of course, it was late starting. It wouldn't be 
it wouldn't be a Jason. No, I'm not going for it. I think he was. I think he was when he was. I think they were uh, on time last time. I ain't going to do that. Um. Oh, shoot. I'm on the wrong channel. Let me switch real quick and do that. Of course, I got there. The doors opened at five. Um, I got there probably about 620 because, you know, I had some drama at my hotel. I had to, you know, set them in order over there at the hotel um, before I got out of there. And um, so I was a little late getting over to the church. I got to the church about um, about 615, 620. And of course, they were not. Uh, of course, they were far from far from starting. So we sat there. We sat there. The announcer comes on the screens and says, attention, everyone. We are sorry for the inconvenience. We are waiting on Jason McGee's mother. And if anybody knows sweet lady Mary McGee, we love you. She's a supporter of the St. James show. But we we know she always. <laughs> so we waited and we waited and we waited a little bit more. Now, I'm not going to blame all of that on Mary McGee. It could have been some other stuff going on. Yeah. Could have been some other stuff going on. Uh, Shardy Sar says, I can't wait to get the new project when really Jason McGee is a, is one of my favorite choir directors. And let me tell you, he did his thing last night. He held up the Jason McGee name. What's up, Inspire? Our our head armor bearer, our head, our head paraclete, our mediator, and our moderator, Inspire. Um, but in true fashion, late, but you know. We finally got it going. Let me tell you, I had a clip of it, but I'm not going to play it. The uh, Azusa Pacific Gospel Choir came and opened up. They were great. You know, young people. It's always good to see the different, you know, the uh, demographic of people singing gospel, which was great. But uh, they did their thing. And all those musicians were Hispanic or white. And they eventually put like a, African American man up on the, on the organ for one of the songs, but they, I think, no, what was that song they did? Uh, mm, they did an Andre Crouch song. It was so good. Yeah. But anyway, they were good. Um, one called all of a sudden. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's right. Paraclete. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you had to look that word up. He probably already knew. Uh, okay. And this is just a uh, cranberry and a splash of uh, pineapple or something, mango or something. Um, so it gets started. Azusa Choir sings, and then it was time for Jason. Let me tell you, let, can I just share with y'all that this album is actually going to be so spectacular. These are just some pictures. I wanted to show you, I can just show you his stuff instead of me trying to uh, put up all the pictures. Uh, where's he at? Oh, I was gonna show you something else, but there's some other. And it was also his birthday yesterday. So it was a, a really good, a good deal. Um, and I think I'm gonna show mine. And if you've seen the community wall, you've already seen this because all of you, each and every one of the saints over here watches the community wall on a daily basis and has your notifications already uh, set to all to get all the notifications of posts that I do. So here is they, of course, you you, you got to do a change. You know, you never can wear the same thing for sex. So this was the first half. Wonderful. They looked wonderful. Nikki Potts. Let me tell you about Nikki Potts. That dog on Nikki Potts wrecked wrecked, wrecked. And the majority of, I think uh, Jason wrote about, I believe, 90% of the songs. Um, he sung a song, he sung Grace by Jonathan McReynolds. He redid that one, which was excellent. The guy who led that did an excellent job. Um, but Jason pretty much wrote 90% of um, 
the songs. I think he did some co-writing. He did another piece with his mother, which was which was oh so great, so great. But the song that Nikki Potts did when Nikki got off that stage, this this is what happened when Nikki um, got off the stage. <laughs> And let me tell you this, that lady had every right to shout. The way she sung, even the woman that was in the middle, all the choir had marched off, but she had to get just a little bit in before she stepped in. She was pregnant. And the way that woman, that pregnant lady sung needs to be illegal. Jason got some of the best singers and profiled them last night. You cannot be any type of choir director, just by always putting, giving people a chance. You give people a chance on Sunday mornings and Sunday evenings. You give people a chance at evangelistical services during the week. But concerts and recordings, all the chances are over and you get your very best of the best. And that's what he did last night. Nikki Potts, and let me tell you, that's your Rita, Ke Keisha? Keisha Green, what's her name? What's her name over there? Is it uh, Sharita? She over there with John Terrius Tate at Mount Mariah. The woman wrecked the house. Now her titty almost popped out, but they almost had a little Janet Jackson moment. But they quickly spin her around so they can take care of that. But the way that woman sung last night, Amazing. <laughs> it almost popped out. There she was right there. It almost popped out. Um, and the Daryl Walls of All Walls. He came up in there last night and he was like the last song. He was yeah, he did the last song of the night. And he was great. Daryl does his thing, he can sing anything. That's just who Daryl is. So the walls was in <laughs> Emerald City, yeah. <laughs> they did change like that. Yeah, she wrecked the house last night. So yeah, Daryl Walls was there as well. Um, also in the house was uh, Vashawn Mitchell. He didn't sing, he was just there supporting. So Vashawn Mitchell and Nikki Potts, and he had some other singers. He has some singers from his church that he's attending now, which is Oasis Church in Los Angeles. And let me tell you, though this multicultural type of church, I believe, and the singers, even the two leads that he had from that church were phenomenal. When this releases, I'm telling you, you are going to be truly, truly blessed. I'm going to have Jason back on the show um, to, you know, when it gets released, just talk about this a little bit more. The one song there's a lot of songs, there's a few of the songs that really stood out, but that one song that says, let you be God this time. Let you be God this time. So, man, that was such a ministry moment. I think I, I'm like, but this is the important part. Can I, can I, can I, um, can I kind of do a little bit of what I do sometimes? I know St. James is watching. Oh, messy ass. Thank you, Jives. Um, you know, when Jason was on and we did the interview, it wasn't really common knowledge that he wasn't with my block anymore. And we know that my block records is a uh, Warren Campbell, which houses, you know, the Mary Marys, um, and the and the Campbell Girls individual careers. Uh, Lena Bird is on there. The Walls Group. I'm not sure if they're still on there. They were on there. But it was really interesting 
that uh, Jason McGee, McGee and the choir was not on, well, on the uh, label anymore. And from what I can assess, when Warren first got Jason McGee and signed them, they really wanted that Psalms sound. Now, Psalms, of course, was a, a, a choir out of City of Refuge, Noel Jones. And, you know, they had 60, 70 voices. Um, and it was, it, was a, it was a great thing. I saw them in Las Vegas. I saw them in Nashville. I believe it was in Nashville at the, um, at, where were we at? The Stellar Awards in Nashville one year. Jason McGee brought Psalms all the way to Nashville, then to Vegas. And right after that, they were signed. <laughs> they, yeah. They were signed with my block. Not too short, long after that. But I think what Warren was really wanting was that Psalm sound. And if you listen to the release, a couple of releases that they did under my block, it really wasn't the sa Psalm sound. It was Jason McGee, you know, in his style. But I think Warren was really looking for the choir sound. You know, uh, Psalms would take a, a song and Jesus is my help and, and really flip it and do some other type of things. And when it came to the choir, I think. I don't think I don't know if Warren wanted. I think Warren wanted a lot to do with the writing of it. This particular mute, this particular recording that we just <laughs> went through on yesterday, it really tapped into the heart of Jason. And it's definitely not Psalms. It's definitely him. And I think he walked into the this time. That's why I think I know a lot of people in the, on the St. James show say you don't like CCM music, Christian contemporary music. But I think there needs to be a great blend because we're not really going to up predominantly anything churches anymore. If you are, God bless you. Your mama probably went there. Your daddy went there. Your grandma went there. So you just there. But when you're really done with the theatrics of things, you kind of reach out into some different areas and your branches start flowing into to some different types of congregations, some different types of music. It's not it's not white music. It's not that music. It's music that really it's a lot of words sometimes a CCM. Like my mama said, too many words, too many words, too many verses. But it really allows you to, you know, open up your horizons when even when it comes to the salvation and your walk with God. Songs with great power every fourth Sunday they write. Yes, they, that's what they they were fourth Sunday. Yeah, there were no joke twelve years. Of, yeah, and my friends what they were like. We we own we own it's fourth Sunday. We own so likes are free, y'all. Hit the like. Likes are free. All right. So I can see like last night he really put his his experience in this recording. And if you're a true choir director, if you're a true choir master, if you're a true musician, especially when it comes to the things of spiritual music, spiritual music, you have to open up to a broader audience. Yes, we love Mississippi Mass, you know. Yes, we love Georgia Mass. Yes, we love Thompson Community, even though they later on started to change. They started to change their, their deal. So <clears throat> I'm so glad that we were able, to, that uh, Jason was able to tap into that. And it, it just, it just le leads into a broader uh, conversation as to should we be so closed off with CCM? And some people say, oh, that, you know, CC wine and she's just, over there. But you know, you give CC wine it's a song when y'all doing something gospel, she goes with it, she can do it. You have to appeal to the masses. If you want to do anything that the Bible says, Sean, if you want to go into the hedges and the highways and byways and compel them to come, they just didn't say compel black people to come with your black gospel. 
You have to compel all people to come. It's very biblical based. And you're right. And I think we got caught up in like Bishop G.E. Patterson used to say, we may have the same tune, but just different lyrics, just a little, little different lyric, but the same tune. And that brought us that brought us through the slavery time. It brought us through the hard time. You know, uh, stuff's like, uh, what do you know about Jesus? He's all right. What's his name? Jesus. Uh, then you can go into, uh, I got a feeling everything's going to, you know, it's all the same type of tone. Jesus said it. Jesus, you know, it's all the same tone. So we were able to, that's what we were used to. But I think even in this generation now, <clears throat> talking to the 30s, the 40, the 30 years old, the 20s, and, you know, they're, they love the foundation. It's something that Jesse was saying the other night, loves the foundation and looking for something to connect with when they go to church. But they all, I think everyone wants an all encompassing type of experience, not just a one sided experience. Uh, the Dorsey Laundry issue. Oh, I like that. People forget uh, that when James Lee and our queen, the great Mahalia Jackson, came out of the scene, the church folks said they were too worldly. That's right. So all this stuff is kind of just, it all evolves. There's nothing new under the sun. Hey, what's up? Hi. What's up, my lady? I said, um, so it's nothing uh, new under the sun. I think we have to, you know, it was hard for the apostolics when I grew up apostolics. We were so used to just doing our own thing and not really accepting a lot of other people. So when I was got out of that, just the regular apostolic church, nothing wrong with it. But um, then you have different apostolic pastors who have a different mind of thinking now. You can't just uh, put everything towards one type of person. You have to have a more broader more biblically sound, as Anne said, it, from your preaching to your singing. And and I even appreciate uh, Jason's pastor over there at Oasis. He's an African-American guy over, you know, um, a multicultural church. And it was just, <clears throat> I'm just, and I say all that to say this, I'm glad we appreciate what, what went on at with Psalms, at City of Refuge, what he did over there, what he did in Bakersfield growing up of that, what's that, what was that church? Saints Memorial, Bakersfield. You know, because Jason is apostolic, Kojic, Kojic apostolic, you know, grew up Kojic. Yes, Judy McAllister, she helped, uh, got the belt with singing across the board. She helped, she helped us. She helped the black church say, it's okay. You don't have to say what's his name every Sunday. They came out with saints and praise with her and um, Henderson, who just, you know, Patrick Henderson, who passed away earlier this year. And they got together and presented that saints and praise out to the predominantly African-American churches. And we said, well, dang. What is this? Mercy me. Yes, I can only imagine. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. What it'll be like when I'm standing there by, by your side. I mean, it makes you, not to say that our predominantly African-American or Black gospel didn't have that feeling. But if we want to be honest, I don't know what it is. I don't know if we focused more on the the beat and the tune and the musicality of it and didn't focus on the words. Even when I, I think of a song, so heavy laden and burdened down, I did not know just what to do. So I went and I prayed. Kim McFarland, Thompson Community Singers. Started to, I like that too, because that started to change some things 
but it, it still was choir music. This album even had somebody who's not a fan of Jason McGee come up to me last night and says, well, I got to shut my mouth. I said, well, shut up. <laughs> because he brought it last night. He really did. Uh, Mike Moore says, I like praise and worship also, but I like choir. I'm going to say I like praise and worship, but I love choirs. Mike Moore. <laughs> I love them. So I don't think we can ever, but I, what I did notice, kind of a theme that I saw, the first parts of these songs were a few of them were, you know, nice and flowery and CCME. But once he got to that bridge, it was full choir. Full choir. So it was a mix in there, y'all. And what I also liked last night, at least about 10 to, 10 to 12 of you came up to me and said, are you St. James? I listen to you all the time and I love you. And that really made my day or my evening. I mean, this young, a couple of the young girls came up to me. They were like, because I figured, you know, all older people are just watching. These girls were probably old, little teens. They came up to me, were like, we love you. And one girl looked at me and said, I love you. You're the best. <laughs> I was like, oh, my goodness. And then other people are like, my friend is going to hate. He missed you here. So I, I was just so elated. And I went downstairs to the little VIP party. And more people were like, I thought that was you. I just couldn't get it together. So I really appreciate going and, and meeting all the saints that are around uh, the world, around the world. So. When we get ready to go to, um, actually, I'm going to Spain this year, so maybe I'll see somebody in Spain. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. When we go with um, Donald Lawrence next year to the Music and Arts Global, I really hope to see a lot of the saints there because I'm going to be talking about it so much that you're going to want to not miss Music and Arts Global, Global 2025. All right? And remember, it's going to come up really quick, really, really quick. So um, <clears throat> we're going to talk about that. Yes, Cupcakes just came. You're right. She just came back from Spain. So I'm going to, maybe we need to, I want to, some input on what you, wh where you went. Did the, was the food any good? Because I know the food in London was horrible. So hopefully the food in Spain, I hear it's supposed to be a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so I loved meeting all the people um, that watched the St. James show. And I see the lady today. She said, and I gave you $10 last week. <laughs> I was like, well, thank you, mother. I appreciate it. And, and since we're talking about $10, you know, since everybody else is uh, profiting off of the eclipse, the prophetic word of the night is 777, your solar seed. Because um, I, I, so I missed the memo. I didn't know we were um, giving eclipse and solar seed offerings. So if you don't want to go blind, when you look up, because some of y'all going to look up at the eclipse anyway, you're not supposed to without those special glasses. If you don't want to go blind, you need to sow your 777 seed. To the St. James show. Everybody else is doing it. All right. <laughs> oh, did I spell solar wrong? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <sighs> really be is really be in the house. Really? I gotta talk to you, really be. I want you to do something for me. <laughs> You're late. Go down to the altar and pray. ELA. See, <laughs> seven, 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 three, nine, three, yeah. <laughs> yes, seven, 
seven seven C. Everybody else is doing it really big. So I didn't know we had to give for the eclipse. So let's give for the eclipse, y'all. Support the channel. Uh, let's hear a little something from Keon Henderson. So I don't know what just happened. I didn't preach. I didn't take a text. And yet hundreds of people got saved. It's been an amazing ride. God is so good. We're in this moment where we believe that the evidence of God is about to be found in our lives and we're going to be the proof that he's good. I want you to stay prayed up. I want you to stay steadfast and I want you to be built up in your most holy faith because you're getting ready to walk into a stretch where your eyes have not seen and your ears have not heard. You can't even imagine what God has in store for you. So on behalf of myself and my wife, we say to you, God bless you and may his face smile upon you. We'll see you later. I, I forgot to mention Jerome Wheeler was there last night. That is Keon's worship leader. There go my friends, let me put them on do not disturb. Uh, Jerome Wheeler, um, he is the worship leader for Keon Henderson was there last night and led a song as well. I experienced what he said. He said today he, I mean, he preached. I mean, he didn't get a chance to preach because the spirit was so high that it just took over. People got saved, healed, delivered, and without preaching, he couldn't do it. I was in Los Angeles this morning over there at the Bethlehem Temple Church of Los Angeles. Let me tell you, Bishop Gentry Richardson and Beautiful lady, Denise Richardson, the church we had up in that place. The poor man got up, didn't even get a chance to preach. Folks was bucking and running and leaping and jumping and speaking and, 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 and dipping. They had a good old time up in there. I hadn't been up in a service like that in years. Has anybody ever experienced that? We used to experience that multiple times, all the times growing up where the pastor would get up, couldn't even, or sometimes he would just say a scripture and it will set the church afire. But Bishop Richardson couldn't even say the scripture and the church was set afire. Did this man have the audacity and the gall to come over there and lay his hands on St. James? And do you know what? I ugly cry. I ugly cry. And I want to tell Bishop that I don't appreciate him making me ugly cry. <clears throat> I have people there that knew me. They know me. I can't be ugly cry. But what he whispered in my ear during that prayer was the confirmation. I don't need no prophet to tell me God tells you certain things and all he does is confirm it through his vessels. And it was confirmed today. Wasn't even that deep, but it was just a confirmation. So uh, blessings to the Bethlehem Temple Church in Los Angeles. If you're ever in the area, go on over there to Bethlehem Temple. Yes, hey, it's an ugly cry. And I had to dip my, my, my face. I had to cover my face. I had to veil my face. He God gave me two wings to veil my face. And I veiled my face. I said, Lord, am I flying away today? But it was church over there at the Bethlehem Temple. Now I had to park down there at Jerusalem to get there. But that's a good thing. Because some people got parking lots that are you can park diagonal. You don't have to park vertical. You can park, everybody can park the diagonal, you know, horizontal and still have room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they said, uh, DLC says, we experienced this today at Crusaders Temple of the Church of God in Christ. And Inspire sent me something too. I haven't seen it yet, but Inspire was at home about to fall out of her bed from shaking and bumping and speaking so much. The church that she was wa watching, <laughs> you know, that parking lot. Oh, but I wasn't going to be caught behind nobody though. They wasn't going to trap me in. They said park at the at the uh, 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 the school. I went on down to the school where there was plenty of parking. 
because he wasn't about to trap me in there, you know, because I never know when I when I got to make a run. You know, I was a U H U H U hop, and I was like, I thought they was gonna trap me in. I thought they was gonna. That's his car. Mm -hmm. Got his name on the license plate. That's him. That's him. That's him. And they was gonna put a car in front of me. Ooh, that U hop had me scared, scared, scared. But when I walked into Bethlehem Temple. First lady did say after church, Lord, why? <laughs> what is he going to do? Because she's a faithful watcher of the St. James show. Thank you. <clears throat> she said, Lord, have mercy. I told her, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm over here on unofficial business. Not official. Unofficial business. I just. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't do us. <laughs> oh, I had a good time over there. You I, 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 I really be. I had a good time. I was a little frightened, but I had a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you but not get blocked in that way. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing ugly cry with an eye open. <laughs> Bible says, watch and pray. Don't, don't, don't get too deep around there. You don't know what might be going on around you while you bucking. Mm -hmm. What's up, Donita Williams? What, there is my uh London sister. Are you London? No, oh, you're Germany. You're Germany. This is a singing sister, Donita Williams. Make sure y'all go <coughs> follow her <clears throat> on uh, Instagram and all platforms. Also, follow the St. James Show now. All platforms right here, YouTube and Facebook, uh, Instagram and X, all right? So every now and then, uh, when you get off your, your other X that you watch all your um, interesting content on, Switch over to your other ex, your saved ex, and add the St. James Show. Will you do that for me? Germany. She's over there, Germany. She's going to meet us over there at Music and Arts Global. I know she is. As soon as we get the information out, hey, we may be going to Germany. We don't know where we're going yet. Donald, no. Donald, you going to tell me? You don't want to tell me? Tell me, Donald. <clears throat> we ain't having no more you hops No. I I'm good. I, I'm good. I'm good. So, yeah, I was over there. And so it was even again, even over there at the church, they were like, we love you. We love what you're doing. We love, you know, your commentary and your content. And everyone know they said, I gave you $10. I said, well, thank you. Thank you so much. So, ma'am, I need you to give $7.77 tonight. That's the eclipse seed. Okay. All right. That's the eclipse seed. That's what people doing around here. They're doing eclipse seeds. Uh, uh, I didn't know we can do that. I got to find that in the Bible. I'll get, I'll get back to you. Just give now. Give on faith. I'll get back to you to tell you what it's about. Just give on faith. Just listen. To, just don't, don't doubt me. Just listen to me. Uh, yes, if you're not booked, I know you booked and you busy, Donita. Yeah, get that coin first. Get that coin. Uh, this was, let me tell you what. Let me let you want to see what a little bit was going over there at Bethlehem Temple today. That wasn't going any better. That is Bree Holly. That was so funny. Bree, don't play with y'all. <clears throat> Bree Holly is a hoot. A hoot. Oh, you are so welcome, Danita. You're welcome. Yes, that is Bree Holly holding up the bloodstained banner for the quartet folk and the plus side. Beautiful plus size ladies. Yes, that was her. JP, I don't know what you're looking at. You know what you're looking at. You're looking at Brie Holly. That's what you're looking at. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. Can I tell you something? Can I ask you a question? But it's first Sunday, y'all. 
Well, not really a question. I thought I put you on silent. Do not disturb. Oh, the wrong, wrong phone. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. The wrong phone. Kind of a statement. But it's first Sunday, y'all. But it's first Sunday weekend, y'all. Listen here. I know that the internet is a blazing. We have the church folks. And I'm the reason why I'm saying church folks, because these folks be on their live quoting scriptures and saying that God is on their side and they know what they're doing. And God has given them the unction to function in the capacity that they're doing. And they're going on. What I'm speaking of, I'm speaking of, she's very light on her feet. That's Miss Jesus Save the Day. Yes, it is. If any of you uh, were uh, listening to Conscious TV, now Conscious TV, I'm driving in Los Angeles and just kind of listening to what's going on. And it was, I'm glad somebody was on because I was, had a drive. So on the way down, I listened to Conscious and when was he on? Friday or Saturday? I can't remember. I was listening to him. And he was talking about, because if, if you're not aware, Daryl Moore, the cigar blogger, he's he's a friend of the show. He's over here sometimes. And he and Larry Reed got into a lawsuit. Um, Larry um, served him with the lawsuit. Um, for I, I believe it was maybe um, slander and some other things or what have you. But they had reached a settlement um, in regards to that. I believe it was 2022 when they reached it or so. And. So they reached a settlement and they were supposed to take every everybody, everybody take the judge said, OK, everybody take everything down about everybody Go into your mutual corners, turn to the wall and don't look at the other person pretty much. All right. So I guess that happened for a little while, I guess. And then when all the Vincent Terrell Hill stuff came up, it kind of tree triggered some things and thoughts in Daryl Moore's mind. So unfortunately, he continued to bring out some um, very interesting things that uh, he, well, he highlighted some things that Vincent Terrell Hill had been saying. Now, Mr. Cigar Blogger, Daryl did mention some of those things back in the day. But, you know, <laughs> I know. We all hate this. But, you know, it was kind of a mute point. And then Daryl kind of went off the, the road for a while. You know, he wasn't really on YouTube. He was just doing his own thing with his movies and things and working, I guess. But when Vincent Terrell Hill came out with his famous video about Larry Reed, then all hell broke loose again. Mm-hmm. And it is really annoying to me, all of it. And it's so crazy because we have a prophet, pastor of a church. We have another individual who, you know, is a Christian. He, you know, Daryl, I believe, you know, he quotes scriptures and stuff like that. And my thing is, Vincent Terrell Hill mapped out his accusations. He not only did he map it out, he gave some supporting documentations to his claim. Now, you can either accept his supporting documentation, whether it be the pictures and the audio are the videos, you can accept it. Or you can, well, you can do three things. You can accept it. You can believe it. Or you can accept it, believe it, and don't care about it. Obviously, it doesn't matter what and we've said it before it doesn't matter what we think 
people ought to re or how we think people ought to react to certain things, certain events. People are going to follow who they want to follow. People are going to give their money who they want to give their money to. Now, I asked y'all to give 777 tonight for the eclipse, eclipse seed, but I know Larry and Prophet Jordan is on and they asking for more than that on their eclipse seed tonight. They're going to probably get you for $88.88. But people are going to give. People have heard the accusations. Uh, Larry has, you know, said something, you know, some, of some of the ones he spoke to and some things he didn't speak to. Um, what I am hoping, and my thing with people saying, well, conscious is windmilling, conscious, yeah, but hey, conscious is windmilling also for himself. It's content. It's content. They said, y'all niggas ain't talk. Y'all, what'd he say? <coughs> y'all ain't talk about nothing. Yatting. Unless it's with, it's let's his name is in it. Well, conscious is using it, you know, this content. Now, well, I wouldn't mill that hard for somebody. I don't know. I, I guess it depends on the relationship. <laughs> but T.S. Madison say everybody working, getting paid. That's what T.S. Madison said. Everybody working, getting paid. So we have to just say we all on here working. Some getting paid more than others. But <clears throat> as what's his name Thomas Whitfield extreme you know so eloquently wrote and penned when he put in precious Jesus the overture he says precious Jesus I love you then he goes I implore thee that means I plead I'm asking. Well, he's not monetized, but he getting paid, baby. Um, Mental Vibe says, thought he said something. One minute these people are bruh bras, the next... They beefing and suing. The next, they are doing a live together to team up against someone they mutually hate. Then they beefing <coughs> once again. My only thing is when they had that settlement agreement, they did mediation and they agreed, Daryl and Larry agreed to take everything down. Drinks my heart as my lips. Part your praise. Don't you type that in the chat. I'll go in. Um, my opinion is I think Daryl should stop. Okay. I think I got to do a poll. I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to do a poll. Okay. Let me do a poll. I have to. Hold on, y'all. I got to pull up. I don't know why I can't do a poll. I can't do a poll in StreamYard. So I got to go out and go to bring up the live <clears throat> and do that. Hold on. Let me push. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do a poll. And, you know, I want everybody to put their, even the ones in the bushes, put your opinion. Okay. Should 
cigar blogger stop all Larry commentary and content. Should cigar blogger stop all Larry commentary and content? I want to, I want y'all to chime in. <clears throat> Again, we can go back and forth and we can bring up accusations against Larry and whoever else. People will support what they're going to support. Did his numbers probably take a little hit? Yeah, but that's what is going to happen. Is Are they going to stop giving uh, uh, solar eclipse seeds and <clears throat> all these other seeds? No. Are they going to stop calling, you know, doing prophecies? No. So I refuse to put my channel in jeopardy because I just cannot refrain from doing commentary because I was told to by a court of law. I'm just saying, and I don't have anything against Daryl. Like I said, he's over here sometimes. Okay, we got a we've got a Bible thumper. Let's put him on timeout for 24 hours. You repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. You do it. <laughs> Gotta love the Bible thumpers. Make sure you guys are um <clears throat> hitting like. The Dorsey Laundry Show says Daryl is going to get sued because a judge told him not to mention Larry. Yeah, he's already been sued. So they went through mediation. So the the agreement was they were not to mention each other's name and not to do any comments, not to allude to it. And my thing is, and I am always leery of the ones who encourage people to do the wrong thing for their suspected right reason. I don't care how right you think you are. I don't care, you know, if you feel that vengeance is yours, says the Lord, not mine, because he's talking, he's talking, God said vengeance is mine. So it's not yours. But these folks are saying vengeance is mine, says me. And I don't want to see people's livelihoods taken away. Over what? Over, uh, go to jail over what? Because I can't stop talking about somebody? Lord, right on my tongue. Let my words edify. Mm, mm, mm. This is crazy. He's already in contempt of court. That's what that's what Conscious was reading. What Larry's lawyers have already presented. Are they presenting to Monday, tomorrow? He's already in contempt of court. And he's been to court before. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why it's so important to bring, know when to pause and know when to stop. Going to someone's house because you think you can is going too far. And again, he will say, well, I didn't go inside. I went around. I went around a corner. I, went, I don't even want to go to your neighborhood. <coughs> I, and, and, and I do understand that Daryl suffered a stroke during all of this. His parents died. So there's a lot of hurt in there that I believe that he wants to avenge his parents. And he got these dates where this happened on this date to my parents and this happened to my, 
<clears throat> this thing happened to my son. This happened to my mom. And on this date, this happened to Larry. And it's all these dates and things. And then Rivers says, winning an argument on social media ain't worth what's at risk. There it is. I don't have to win an argument on social media. I'm concerned. You know what? I think about the bigger picture of things. First of all, I think about is it how is it going to benefit me to keep this shit going? How is it going to benefit me? That's why I don't get into YouTube beefs. I, I don't. You, people can say whatever they want to say. I'm going to be silent. The Bible said, be angry and sin not. I'm going to be silent and allow whoever else to talk. I have to consider how is this going to benefit me now and in the long run? <laughs> Where's my disclaimer? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, which disclaimer did you tell me to put up? Inspired. She's the head. Please put the. Uh, these for you're not getting paid for any. Oh, oh, I'm not getting paid for. No, 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 no. I wish I had a disclaimer. I'll put that up right there because that's what the disclaimer is. Yeah, no, 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 no. No one pays me to do anything. No one super chats me to do anything. No one cash apps me to do anything. Absolutely not. This is, I don't, I don't do that. Now I accept all donations, but no one is paying me anything. Absolutely not. Uh-uh. No one's paying me anything. But I look at the thing on the at the long run. So take a screenshot of that, y'all. Okay. <laughs> um, how is it going to benefit me and my in my um my life, my family, my daughter? If I'm if I'm in jail, that affects my life. If I'm in court having to go to court, I'm missing money. I'm not doing my job, regular job. I'm not showing homes. I'm not helping buyers, you know, find homes. I'm in jail because I don't like a social media media influencer. No, he's funny. Be funny all you want. He's yeah, I find some of the things he says funny. I do. But funny is going to get you contempt of court and a lot of bills. Roxy Morris says, when you be still, things always come out in the wash and you don't have to put your hands in it. <laughs> JP says, if the cigar blogger has a legitimate case against Larry Reed CTV, he should take his claim to court of law. There are no answers or remedy for him on YouTube streets. <laughs> and I think what it is, I think a portion of that is saying like, maybe I know that I can't win in court, but I'm going to try to win in public opinion and I can get my lick back because that's what his word, my lick back um, by putting a bad light in a bad, you know, air, um, in the eyes and the ears of people against these folks. <clears throat> like I said in the beginning, Vincent already mapped it down. There's been accusations before Vincent came out. People have heard them, people have analyzed them, and people have figured out to not support him or to just continue to support him. So what we say about it is not going to make a difference. We have to think about the bigger picture. Yeah, he suffered. Yeah, he suffered a stroke and some other things. But let me tell you, and I don't mean I don't mean this in a bad way, but we do things to ourselves unnecessarily. If we eat too much, we get fat. If we eat too many hog mogs and fat backs and other, we may get high blood pressure. We eat too many sweets or what have you, you may start getting diabetes. We do some things to ourselves.
and says, I think he'll open the door. Right. People will make a choice. To, they can make their choice. <clears throat> and people have made their choice. They considered the, what was said. They considered his evidence that he presented. And they said, some said, oh, oh, hell no. I, mm -mm, I'm done with that. And some said, well, he did say he had peen and he did say this and he did say that. So we can't, you know, you know. And they just continue. She just said, losing everything because you can't keep your mouth shut makes no sense. Sometimes you have to step back. Let God do it. Leave it alone. In the words of the Pace sisters, God can handle it better than you can. Leave it alone. <clears throat> Jason penned the song last night and he said, let you be God this time. There are times when we're so depressed, we're so down and or bills are due. Spouses are acting up. They're over there canoodling with other folks. You've been doing the same thing all the time. You argue with them, you fight with them, y'all break up, <laughs> y'all get back together. But sometimes you have to pause and say, you know what, God? I'm going to let you be God this time. All right? I, 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 it obviously doesn't work when I try to help you out a little bit. So this time, God, I'm going to let you handle it. I'm going to let you do what you do. Self and stupidity equals self-inflicted nonsense. Why rack up fees and, and penalties and injunctions and, you know, And some may say, well, there's more people that Larry ought to be suing. People got whole documentaries and, and they got a whole, you know, part one, two, three to 54s. <laughs> Thank you so much, new member. The Neo Taka 1908. Get down. I, I, I can't even, you can't even, just thank you. You and this little section that. In that black dress. I, I see your cleavage though. Over here at the St. James show. We uh, oh yeah, we show cleavage over here. It's okay. You're good. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> you don't understand. I don't understand a computer beeps either. That's why I'm like, and I know, like I said, conscious could use it for content. People are like, he's windmilling, he's but in the at the end of the day, it's content. And I know. It's also content for a Daryl, cigar blogger. But somebody's content is going to get them locked up or broke. And I guess he's in a restraining order against conscience. I, <laughs> they're flying everywhere, y'all. <laughs> Conjunctions and penalties and contempt. All up in the concert sector. Yes, because I've said these people, they quote scriptures during the thing. They do prophecies. They do eclipse seeds. Got a few of them. Thank you so much. <laughs> Deborah, y'all. Do all this. And see, church folk, let me tell y'all something. You can go ahead and find a scripture for whatever you want it, how you want it to fit. But that don't mean God is going to activate that thing. It's just words on a piece of paper. Because he don't do scriptures to fight your unnecessary battles. It don't happen like that. God is not going to allow his holy word to fight your battles 
just because you mad. A lot of people use that. Hold on, y'all. I gotta, I gotta get clean my glass. <clears throat> It just don't work like that. <clears throat> and we know we can we can go off of old pissed off Lamar Whitehead over there the other night. He was so mad at everybody. He said he's innocent. The hell with y'all. Touch not my anointing. You know, he read he. And do my prophets no harm. He reads that and he quotes that all the time. Vengeance is his, saith the Lord. He does that one too. And they all are ineffective. Not to personal bell hop. Sick him, Jesus. He ain't sicking nobody for you. He not locked up yet. He's on his way July 1st. Over there, mad. What was he saying the other day? What did he say? <clears throat> Over there, just hollering and screaming. That's another one. <clears throat> you know, he ain't did nothing wrong. He innocent. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Damn it. What was that? Remember, he said that. Who said that? Whitehead was over there proclaiming, You can't stop me. Well, July 1st. The vloggers will be listening, and we pray to God that Pam, the law intellect, is in the courtroom and will give us the intel as soon as it drops. Mm -hmm. River says that the Bible says, Saul, is that an S on song? Is it supposed to be an S song? Maybe. 68 and 1. Let God arise and his enemies be. God don't need your help arising. He don't need your help doing. All right. Let God be God. Let him arise. Be not deceived. If we want to quote scriptures, if we want to quote scriptures, let's quote them in the right context. Be not deceived, Coco JB says. God is not mocked. What? So ever a man soweth. Soweth. And that T-H means, let me, can I teach you something? And I learned something over there that the day that I didn't even think about. That Bishop Richardson said, because he, he said, they sung, we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. To every man that believeth, that E-T-H, soweth. That means it's a continuous thing. You continue to believe. You continue to sow. Be not deceived. God is not my. So whatever a man continues to spew, continues to, to plant, you keep putting them seeds in the ground and you think the harvest is coming up springful. The harvest won't be coming up, not even with a root. That shall he reap. You keep on. That is ETH. <laughs> Come on now. You continue. Whatever you want to sow, you can sow seeds of discord or you can sow seeds of grace and humility and seeds of understanding. But whatever you sow with, E-T-H, continuously, continuously. That's what you do continuously. You don't just sow one time, you sow it. Stop. Come on, Richardson. Mm. So you can keep talking it. You can keep accusing it. Reaping season is on its way. Hmm. I implore you. To cease. 
all commentary. Ain't nobody paying me a dime. I don't care what goes on over there in LRL. I don't care. They kicked me out. And I said, bye. <laughs> bye bye. Keep my $12. Joe, I'm going to level 224. Bye bye me. Let it go. Move on with your life. I guarantee you, if you just let it go, Larry will let it go. I know, I know what I don't know. That they used to say. He gonna, he gonna let it, save the money, Jesse. Save the money. Go take some beautiful lady out to eat. <clears throat> That's, I think let uh, Dale, you need some cook, some canoe. <laughs> need a I've been kicked out of better places. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> they kicked me out. Then they brought me back in and they kicked me out again. <laughs> All because I said. The the, 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 the was lackluster. My opinion, just an opinion. Yeah. Give me my towel. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm serious. Y'all gotta leave it alone. God can handle it better then you can. And I know it sounds more easier said than done. But then I'll be listening to folks to get over there and they be in that chat. You know, they, they hate Larry. <clears throat> they hate conscience or whatever. So they over there, come on, girl, come on. Come on. I'm like, these folks, you, you know these folks don't mean you no good because it ain't their channel. That ain't they... Name on your direct deposits on the 21st. They will catch at you to continue your foolishness. That's what subscribers do, some of them. They don't like peace. They like strife. And I pray that my close friends, if they ever saw my, you know, if they look at my and I said something or did something that was to my detriment. And I have some attorney friends, you know, some real deal attorney friends. And they would tell me, you know, St. James, um, retract it, you know, publicly, apologize, and don't do it again. <laughs> yeah, Derek Adams was sprinkled over there and he got his feet washed. Yes, he's cleansed by the blood. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cleansed by the blood. Bless his heart. Oh, let's see what the uh let's see what the poll is saying. Uh, what did the poll say? Did it say something? Did I put the poll up? Do y'all see a poll? I didn't see a poll. Did the poll go up? Uh, let me go out, come back in. I didn't see the poll. Do y'all see the poll? I don't see no poll. I don't know. I don't see it. Anybody see the percentage? Because I don't see it. Hmm. 62, yeah, okay, <clears throat> to stop the commentary. See, 38% said stay on his neck. Then 38%, I, I'm sorry, y'all in the chat, I understand. <laughs> y'all like some mess and y'all like some stuff and y'all probably hate Larry. But I'm not even talking about Larry right now. I'm talking about the livelihood and the sanity of Daryl. 
That's what I'm trying to get him to see. Ah, can I understand your plight? I understand what was done to you, what was done to your parents, you say. What's up, darling? I understand what you said to them and what you did to them. 38% want to see a show. They, they, I mean, that's 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 what it is. And if you are willing to give them a show and have your channel struck or taken away or to have all this money out of your household or even be imprisoned, and you know, and I think this whole thing about the marriage thing and if you want or if anybody wants to send a message to the ISIS people, do that stuff in the back end. Do it in the back end. Whatever you do, do that silently. You know, don't let your left hand know what your right is doing. Ain't that in the word somewhere? Or did we just make that up? We might just made that up. I don't know. And it's like, I don't want to take anything away from what people have gone through. Strokes and the parents leaving and all. That is very, you know, you know, touching and horrible situations. But don't put yourself in a double horrible situation by just continuing this. K. Rich, see, K. Rich said, they're not a bad looking guy. I can't do this. That's okay. <clears throat> Just turn your head to the wall while he smoke. Turn your head to the wall. Daryl, see, you got to live. I got to live to see it happen. Live, 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 live. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I like to live life more abundantly. And beefing with folk on the internet is not living life more abundantly for me. You got to have some wisdom. I like to live life more abundant. I like the finer things in life, and I always have. I come from good stock. We all came, you know, my whole family, we good, we good. And I like to continue that. I wish I would waste any of my good time, precious time on any of these Negroes on this internet. I wouldn't do it. I don't care how wrong they did me. And they did me so wrong that it's illegal. I will sick my attorneys on. And I'm talking like I got attorneys. We got one, y'all. We got one. Well, that specializes in a couple of things. <clears throat> but I'm sure he got some others he can refer me to if I need it. I wouldn't do it. I would just refer, if they really did something, you know, like Pastor Wilson said, the law is for the lawless. <laughs> and that ain't nothing but the truth. The law is for the lawless. Okay. I'm going to put the link in the chat. What's up, Kathy? Uh, I'm going to put the link. If anybody wants to come up and give your thoughts, your opinions on what's going on. Um, Patty Green says, I believe that he should see a therapist and not social media in due time. I do believe that Larry will read Henry what he has sown right before us all. He will read. Well, Everybody working, getting paid, Patty Green. That means you will get a reward for what you're working and what you're doing. So, you know, it is what is worth. What did Tim Breeze say? <clears throat> okay, so I was in the book. Matthew 6, 1 through 4, left hand versus the right hand. Okay, I was in the book. I was walking all around in that book. I knew I was there somewhere. I've been in this thing too long to not know a few scriptures off the cuff. <clears throat> yes, we talked about it earlier. Fame, the first African Methodist Episcopal Church in Los Angeles, California. We are praying for the church fame in Los Angeles, all right? 
Yes, we talked about that earlier. So if it, anybody uh, <clears throat> want to keep the trail running, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I got to keep this, this thing going here. I'm not trying to be beefing with people because somebody told me something about you and I want to tell it. I just, just can't tell it all. I can't. Da, 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 no, I da, 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 just can't. I just can't tell it all. I just can't tell. Come on, that went all kids. Sometimes you gotta shut up and not tell it all. <laughs> you am you at you are aim, huh? All right, my 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 people come from. Actually, we come from CME. I think my grandmother was CME, Christian Methodist Episcopal. I believe. Yeah, I think it was CME we were. <clears throat> yeah. So I just wanted to come on and say, you know, these lawsuits and injunctions and contempts of courts and all this stuff is flying around, y'all. And it's really unnecessary and especially unnecessary with faith based type of people. We're talking faith, we're talking scriptures, and we all got carnality bounded up, bound up in us, but we can't start using scriptures because we don't know how to be quiet. God doesn't react off of our, our scriptures just because you quoted them. He's given us, you know, our own free will to use the wisdom that he has blessed us to have. Now, if you don't have any wisdom, you better get down on your knees and beg God that he fill you up with his wisdom and with his spirit. Because I believe without the spirit of God, you cannot have wisdom. You can't. You can be book smart. Book smart is fine. But that wisdom is another angle that you need the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what you need. Yes, the Baptist clothes. Stay up with me. Stay up with me, Inspire. I know you're trying to go to bed. Don't you go to bed. <laughs> Tell your husband you got a little bit longer to go. So I pray that these folk ask the Lord for discernment, wisdom, and the unction to function like a true soldier. And a true show, show, the soldier, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. You better count your money. Sitting at the table, because it's about to slip through your hands in about five different ways. Hell no, I won't go. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The devil want me down there, but I won't go. Come on. Woo. People use God and scriptures as a cover up for foolery and shenanigans. The most Low down, nasty vile people know the Bible front and back. Touch not my anointed. Do me no harm and give me your $90,000, Miss Pauline. I rest my case on that one. Jessica says, uh, I'm new to this channel. I barely found out it's a channel that kind of talks about the Lord and church news. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. That is a picture of Grace behind me. There she is. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. almost. Millions didn't make it. My friend Devin, a, a, um, he is an artist in Los Angeles. He did it just, just for me, just for me. Gave him two pictures that I liked of Grace, and he put them things together for me, and he created that for me, and it is so beautiful. That is Noel Jones's big sister, Grace Jones. Yes, it is. And I love it. 
and he's a wonderful, wonderful artist. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Ed, each and every one of you. Nobody wanted to come up, which is fine. We have something special for the St. James show coming up this week. You are going to love it. Um, I'll start probably promotions on it tomorrow or Tuesday. And um, <laughs> move it, Jack. What? <laughs> and um, so we will um, we will uh, take, you know, we will deal with that. Who's a lie? He's a lie. What you talking about? Move it, Jack. What's going on here? What you talking about? What you talking about, Jesse? Roxy Moore says, I've gone back and forth to watch a U hop show several times. It was good. Thank you so much. River, if I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my back there, and we should say, Victory, 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 Victory shall be. Mine. If you're watching the replay, make sure you hit like and share right now. All right. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, yeah, um, I think I got everything out that I needed to get out. Um, let me reiterate this again. Just reiterate it before I get out of here. I don't dislike nobody. I don't, I, I don't dislike Larry. Larry ain't never did nothing to me. He blocked me a couple of times. But I can get over that. That that don't okay. This social media, people get blocked. I ain't blocked on the social media now. Now I'm throwing out a Patreon, which is fine. I don't care about that. Um, but what I'm saying is, when courts are involved, I think you might want to be quiet and back up. And saying that I'm gonna bring this to court, that to court. No, we're talking about. This, what the court said needs to be done. We're not talking about any more evidence. We're not talking about any more allegations. <clears throat> We're talking about what the agreement was, the settlement agreement was. That's all we're talking about here. That is what conscience was reading. The settlement agreement and the contempt of court and the things that were not followed with, um, according to the agreement. So we're not talking about any other allegations here. You can't bring the court this and bring the court that. Judge doesn't care about that. We're talking about the, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. Emotion, we have to be emotionally intelligent here. We have to stay focused on the, the uh, uh, lawsuit at hand. Am I talking right? You can bring in <coughs> documents of this. You can prove he lied about this on this situation. You can grab from the air some witnesses for this. But what we're talking about is the settlement agreement. Got to focus here. We're talking about the settlement agreement that was settled upon between the two of you, Daryl and Larry. Talk about nothing. nothing. We ain't going outside the lines. No, we staying right here. Settlement agreement. Just be wise. Because the judge is not going to care about anything you bring him. He's not going to care about any other accusation. He's not going to care about the video from Vincent Hill. That is not what is on the agenda. There's a settlement. I just need to bring everybody back into a clarity here. There's a settlement that was agreed upon that is not being abided by. Are we clear? We don't care who Larry been with. If you ain't sleeping with him, 
Turn the other cheek. Not your concern, not mine. Now, if you're giving money <clears throat> and you, you have some questionable issues and some questions you want, then you go over there and deal with them. We can say whatever we want to say, like we said in the beginning of this. We can't make people not support other people. There's been YouTubers talk about me like people are going to stop, you know, coming over here in the sanctuary. But they keep on coming and God keeps on blessing. And just the other day, we hit 13,500. Do you know what we have today? <laughs> in a few days, can somebody say in a few days, <laughs> a few days hence, God has been, has made the decision to bless the sanctuary with 13,700. So it doesn't matter what people say on social media. People will support who they want to support down to the smallest scale to the largest scale. Let's talk about Bishop Jakes. Don't matter if you don't like him. People are continue, going to continue to go to the Potter's house in Dallas, Texas, and continue to go to wherever he preaches because they like his ministry. They're not sleeping with him. They like his ministry. What's Tim Breed? I'll be missing what you're saying. <laughs> Is it worth sipping water, sweet tea, through a straw because your mouth is twisted? Come on. You done had a stroke. Not worth a stroke. Man, that ain't worth a stroke. Conscience ain't worth a stroke. People gonna do what they wanna do, Kevin. So to try to convince the world that what we need to consider on somebody and what we need to think about and 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 who we don't need to support is for not. Oh, they don't like. It. Don't like this kind of teaching. Thank you, William. They don't like it, William. <clears throat> You're not going to convince public opinion to side with you, even if they did. What is it going to benefit you to gain all the worldly support and lose your soul? And we're going to we're going to flip soul and still lose your money, lose your time in life, lose your time with your family. I don't have that kind of time and money to give up. I, I just don't. These folks got, the, they must got, you know, I didn't get no trust fund. Got a little oil sprinkled around, around the country, but ain't got no trust fund. I don't see why these people get this money to stay in court. <laughs> I ain't got time to die because it takes all of my life to praise my Jesus all of my time. Come on. Woo! People clearly understand that vengeance is truly the Lord's and you may never, be oh, you may never bear witness of the vengeance, but people keep, uh, word cursing each other like God's going to curse them immediately and the way they want. God is not on your, 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 like they, you know, Tim Bree said earlier that your bell hop. He don't move. What did I sing to you the other day? He's sovereign. God is God. He can do whatever he wants to do when he wants to. And Daryl Coley said, how he wants to. Because he's sovereign. God is God. You may never see the reaping that your enemies have done against you or the reaping that they deserve for sowing discord and sowing horrible things. You may never see it. But if you serve the God that I know I serve, 
He don't play about St. James. And they will reap. And I don't wish bad stuff on people. But God is God. And the Bible is right. Somebody's wrong. All right. <laughs> so goodness and mercy to people. So love. So encouragement. They had some testimonies today at Bethlehem Temple that was so encouraging. You know, testify of the goodness of the Lord. If you ain't got no content, come on and just turn your camera and say, ain't God good? Uh, you know, let me hear what y'all, what has God done for you today? Tell me something good. If you ain't got no content, that's what I'm saying. These people around here, they start beefs and stuff and they start talking about folks because the content is drying up. And let me tell you, these, you know, the videos that Daryl and them are doing now, it's going to get some, it's going to get some hits for the month of April. But it's going to hit you in the month of May or June or July, whenever God gets ready to hit, do that hit. Because like I said, focus. We're talking about settlement agreement here. Nothing else. Nothing else. There's power in the tongue. So use that tongue for more than lipping and lapping. Use it for more than lipping and lapping, y'all. Use it to sow seeds of encouragement. And is it going to be flowers every day? No, it's not. Because I can't stand some people today. Some people make me sick. They make my left butt cheek itch. But is it affecting my life? I won't allow it to. Can't do it. And I look at other people you know, chats and they, they faithful folk who continue to spew. If, 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 if like I said, they, they're, they're fighting against one person, get them. Stay on their neck. Don't let them do that to you. Yeah, yeah. Let me give you a cash out. Just so I know, you know, <laughs> do what I say. I'm a subscriber. Gotta do what I say, okay? Make sure you're good. Let me tell you, these folk, they're either going to get you into listening to that type of reaping or sowing. It's going to get you into a life of loneliness that you only can depend on social media people to fulfill your life because you've shown yourself such a horrible type of person that no one in real life would like to befriend you and be around. It was, it's a joy, a joy to go out and say, Hey, I watch your show. I love you. I mean, that's what they kept saying. I love you. I love you. At least 20 people this weekend that came up to me. And I'm in, you know, just in Los Angeles. That's the kind of impact that I want to have. And if that's why I don't, you know, we, we mon I, I monitor the chat and I want everybody just to, you know, express themselves. But this may not be the sanctuary for you if you expect St. James to pick on other content creators. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that for your entertainment. I, I refuse to do it. I mean, I've said things about it, but I, I say things out of my mouth. You know, I, I you know, I, I, me and Jives talked on the phone maybe about a month ago or more, you know, and I told him straight up. I said, yeah, yeah, I, I told you, I said you were stupid. <laughs> We're talking about that man. I told him. No, I, said, I don't bite my words, you know. I, I, that's, I'm St. James. That's what I do, you know. 
Walk with integrity everywhere you go. Yes, even on the YouTube show. You have to. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> mm. God forgives us, but you have to reap. Yeah, God is a forgiving God and a, a worthy God and a, a, a you know He's a just God. Hmm. Yeah, the day you said, <laughs> you said the day I start you out. <laughs> no, it's just not something I want to do. It's just not something I don't want to argue and fight with other content creators. I I, I just don't want to do it. I don't care what they call me. And I, I, you know, people in the chat, they, they, they amen them and that's fine. I don't have any relationship with those people either, but I'm looking at your character and it's not a character that I would want in this sanctuary anyway. So if they're here, they stay in the bushes and I, that's what I appreciate them staying in the bushes. I appreciate it. I love it. Yep. Thank you, each and every one of you. I have to get out of here. I've been on here way too long, but I appreciate you. Uh, please, if you have not hit like and if you hit, had not hit share, um, please do so. If you're hitting, if you're doing the replay, please make sure you do those things as well. Hit the like button and share. And if you would like to be a blessing to the St. James Show, um, any um, donation is nest is you know appreciated. It's not uh, required, but it is appreciated. And there you are, Cash App, St. James Show, Zale, The St. James Show at att.net, and also PayPal, The St. James Show. Thank each and every one of you who email me. There is my email address as well. I love to get great emails from all the saints of The St. James Show. Make sure that you are subscribed to the Carnal Church Sector Headquarters. Um, make sure that you click on there and that your notifications are on on all of our pages and hit up St. James Eats, all right? That's my foodie channel. Make sure that you are hitting um, them up as well. Thank you so much for Mental Vibes and Kevin. Yeah, I, I, we need a great environment. Yeah, I, that's what I I, I appreciate. So um, let's just, you know, I ain't gonna say y'all to go in prayer and deep prayer uh, about these folks fighting on the internet and sending lawsuits because sometimes <clears throat> our pray I don't know if our prayers will work if they're just so closed off. I don't know. I, I mean, prayer is the key, I guess, but you know what they say, faith unlocks the door. So you have to have the faith. Hmm. Do we have the faith that God is going to bridle their tongues? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes we just got to leave in the hands of the Lord, don't we? <laughs> and just leave it there. Mm, 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 mm. But you know what? Regardless, all things work out for the good to them that love him, love God, but of also and keep his commandments. And the most important commandment is love thy neighbor as thyself, all right? And we know that some of us don't love ourselves, but we're going to ask God that he will give you a special love, even for yourself, because I think that's what's going on around here. This love in ourself is not happening like it should. But all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord. Thank you so much, everybody.